National Police. I have uh, over 22 years of military and police service, yeah, serving different positions and in the different parts of the country. Uh, currently, I'm enrolled here at the Asian Institute of Management, taking the uh, Master in Management uh, program. Uh, this is an 11-month program. <music> The program is different in the sense that the focus is different, but it's still both management. For instance, MM is about leadership. And leadership, not just uh, individual leadership, but leadership that is also linked to strategy. People at an average age of 35 years enter in MM program. Uh, they have an experience of about 11 years and uh, they have already handle managerial positions for three to four years so they've already proven themselves in uh, functional areas so they have an understanding of the business and they want to move to the next level in the organization which is a leadership role a strategy formulation role which is basically developed through you know three areas the adaptive the transformative and the inspirational leadership uh, you start looking at a broader picture you you are not really focused on your individual department or individual function areas but you start looking at the organization as a whole you also uh, have developed your values you understand what ethics are you know that uh, what your core values are and uh, also it's you you come to a level of uh, emotional maturity you you have you know developed your emotional quotient <laughs> Typically, uh, when you when you enter the MM program, you know you are not exposed to many of the areas uh, like finance or economics if you don't come from that background. So a typical day starts from classes at eight in the morning, and we have three classes a day, which extend to three thirty in the afternoon. And you have uh, breaks for about an hour in between, where you get together with your learning teams. From three thirty onwards, you are given the cases for the next day. I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't sleep before uh, three o'clock in the morning sometimes. Uh, especially we had the cases on finance and accounting in which you had to really solve the questions uh, uh, numerically, uh, interpret the data. Uh, typically I would say it's about an 18 to 19 hours a day. Uh. For you in each module, it's like you cannot breathe, totally breathe and relax all throughout the 11 months. Like on the first part you have the MR1, on module 2 you have the MR2 and now we are like so busy with our walkabout. It's like, even if you pass module 1, module 2, still, if you fail the walkabout, you're doomed. So basically, there's no rest. The first, I'd say, five months was the most hectic. Um, adjusting to the new to the routine of the MM, you know, getting used to reading the cases. Uh, I, I didn't stay in the dorm, so having stayed with my family, um, I'd be home, but I was still absent. <laughs> It was tough for me because I could see that my, my children were looking for me, wondering why I wasn't playing with them as much. And when I did have time, I just sleep. Um, my family had to really be supportive and understanding. So to be really able to give it your all and get the most out of your cases, your discussions, to really be active and involved in the class. I chose to study. I chose to read as much as I could. Instead of uh, reading in the evening, I spend time with the kids before they go to bed and go to bed with them but I wake up at 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning to read the cases. One of the things that we look for in the MM is diversity in terms of the countries that they come from and in terms of their experience and thirdly in terms of their functional expertise. We spend a lot of time deciding what might be the best mix for a learning team. We'd like, ideally, we'd like to have an accountant, an engineer, a marketing man, an HR person. So you can see that uh, the intake and the composition of the learning team are very closely related. And, and it's good that you have a learning team 
uh, which gives you feedback basically about your CP. And you have another learning team that gives you uh, feedback about your WAC. And you have another learning team that gives you feedback about your MRR. We tend to think that learning moments really just happen in the case room, but that's not true in MM. The learning moments happen also in the, in the learning teams. And in fact, that's more important than uh, the case room discussion. That learning is deeper. I have seen uh, students who, who were not doing very well in the beginning, not because uh, they did not have the skills, or but uh, they were not very open to uh, public discussion. Uh, the learning team gave them an opening. My experience with my learning teams, uh, they're more open, you know, in a small group discussion, or it's like a one-on-one, -on -one, right? so that the faculty members uh, will be able to adjust. Right? Or we know what's going on, so, uh, when we conduct our classes, we also have that kind of input. That in the back of our minds, we know that, uh, for example, some people are uh, sensitive on some issues. We keep that in mind. Also, uh, the case methodology was new to us. So you need to really articulate well, and uh, you need to go beyond the case facts and provide the insights. That too, you know, it should be unique and should add value to the class. What's the special, What's the special force for? What is it for? A truly strategic question which goes to the heart of the matter, right? The nature and purpose of an organization. And what's it for? Investigated criminal acts. So you need to speak as regular policemen. I don't think they would be able to. Why not? Because they are, these special forces need special training. Why? The situation. What is the situation that demands a special forces? High risk. High risk. Oh. What is this case all about? Skill set. Why? Able to handle this. What kind of skill set? Uh, <coughs> very sharp in their approach. Not just sharp, but what? Improvise. Improvise. So what? What is the tension there for? What is the EA? What is the important point? They believe in accept authority. And yet? Very intelligent. And yet, therefore? What is the tension? Balancing between these two attributes. Yeah, you were looking at the case, you were just lying the <coughs> away with the case right there. <laughs> but we are in MM. And our job in MM is what? To see what nobody else sees. You know the obvious. Yeah.